Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to bother you. Would you take the $10 or would you take the food? Uh, I'll take the food. You want to take the food? You don't want to take the $10? No. Really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and close this box. And I, I, I wanted to know why, why did you plan on taking the food? I was hungry. You were hungry? Yeah. And uh, when was the last time you ate? Uh, yesterday or so. So you haven't ate today in the whole day? No. Wow. And uh, what's your name? I'm sorry. Jesse. Jesse, nice to meet you, man. Uh, so you live around here? Uh, I'm from Banning. You're from Banning? Yeah. Where, where do you usually sleep? Where do you live? I mean, I stay wherever I can lay my head at normally. Wherever you lay your head is basically where you sleep, pretty much. So you haven't ate since yesterday, and you decide to pick the food. You know, I was going to so many people. People were just taking money. Uh, I don't know what they want to do with the money, but money's the root of all evil. So money is the root of evil, man. That that's deep. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been like living on the street like that? I mean, to be honest, since I was like nine. I mean, I was in the system. I ran from the system. So I chose to be on the streets. Okay, so you were nine. You were like in the foster care yeah, or something? Yeah, foster group homes and all that shit. And I chose to be out here rather than being in the system. Okay, don't take it personal and you don't have to answer this. What was the reason you chose this instead of that? Because the, the homes that they put me in, they were they always told me that i was just a piece of shit and i was gonna amount to nothing and i was gonna be dead by the time i was 18. oh my so god i just i said look it and i i did what they said that i was gonna do but i just made it past the time that they said i was gonna do it so all the families that you went to they were treating you so Pretty bad much. so so do you think this the this, this system that they have the people that actually takes those kids they're just doing it for money they don't um, really care about kids some of some of them are i can't say i can't say all of them all of them mm -hmm. but some of them are i mean i had foster parents tell me that oh you're not my paycheck you're just my vacation i mean I've, I've had them just pretty much just say that i was that we're just money to them i mean that they didn't really care about us or any of that oh my god I, i'm so sorry to man hear your story you know everybody has some past some story going on and i talk to you know people every day on the street and everybody has a different story you know yeah. so your story is pretty much very different from all the people that have heard their story and and you know i feel bad for you but uh, let me ask you one thing i always ask people and again you don't have to answer this do you ever believe in like god or any anybody like what what do you believe in i mean i believe there's a higher power out there i don't believe it's a person though okay i mean i lost my parents when i was young and what made me not question Jesus because if there's God, why did he take my people so young? That, that, and, I, and I had to raise myself pretty much throughout all these years, but I'm, I mean, I made it past 18 on my own. I mean, I think I'm doing all right for the most part. And, and you think you are doing it I mean, by yourself and pretty, there's, there is God, you believe in God, but... I but believe in a higher power, not Higher God. power. Okay, I mean, so you don't believe in God, but you believe in there's a higher power yeah. up there okay got it and let me ask you this it's it, it's been raining for like four or five days what do you, what happens in rain where do you usually sleep and what happens I mean, run around no, no, just i was gonna say something but yeah, it was wrong um, no nah, i just i don't know wherever i can under shelter i mean like a like a bridge uh, or a store yeah, that has like means, a like, like a curve yeah, where you can sleep or sometimes i mean our, I mean, I stay in Banning, so there's a place called Cruises Tires over there, and I'll be sneak into one of the little diesels and stuff and crash out. They got twin-sized beds in there. Nice. Okay. Okay. That sounds that sounds good. And also, what about food? Like, how do you find food every day? Um, I mean, normally I go to the little pan food pantries or like Carol's Kitchen in Banning. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I used there. to actually, I used to actually volunteer there, give out yeah. food to people. I mean, I go there. I mean, but like that's the only food place really, because like the other place faith in action it, they only pick and choose when they have food Got I mean, it. and, and they're, they're supposed to take over what help was supposed to do right and they run out of food so it's only up to a, num a numerous amount of people that they deal with on a daily yeah so with carol's kitchen we used to cook fresh food for like a hundred yeah. people yeah and they, carol's kitchen is real good it's real, a real good, good thing. and then we used to give groceries you know yeah. like yeah, whatever groceries on the table I mean, they need to up on their on their inventory though on the grocery stuff. They need to be more better up, products. Better products. Yeah, I mean, but it's for what they do give. It's it is good. It's I mean, good. It helps out a lot. Yes, yes, it a definitely lot. helps a lot. 
but but why are you so different like trust me like i went to so many people people are picking ten dollars i know you said you were hungry but why are you different than the other people why am i different why are you different why are you so nice like you're an angel like uh, i would say you're an angel why are you so nice i mean because being i don't know being messed up the world's already messed up i mean living i mean being nice is better than i don't know being an asshole to somebody that that's I mean, true so you, so you are different you, you you do you think you are different or am i, I mean, just saying I, I i try to be different you try to be different i mean i don't know if i am different but I'm what giving I, i'll give everything i have you know to, to help somebody socks if i need to uh, you will to, I mean, you will to help somebody you will do that yeah Oh man. Okay, so let me ask you. If this food, if somebody else comes to you and like your friend or somebody that's living on the street and ask you, "Hey, you know, I need help. Could you give me a food?" You you rather not eat, you would give your food to somebody else? Pretty much. Oh man, you are amazing. Like like I said, you're an angel. You're such a kind person. Not a lot of people are like you in in this world. So, what is a message you want to give to people to be like you? Like be kind and be loving. How how can people be like you? something that you know like your you have a mindset everybody has a different mindset what is your mindset that you want to tell people do this do that or think this and you will be able to do it i mean i don't know i live up to the rastafarian life i mean i'd rather smoke weed and get along i mean that's my main thing got it okay i mean i i lost my people young so i mean i feel that helping somebody else out it, it brings me that much more a little bit of happiness or that I can help somebody be make their life that much easier cuz I know how it is. I'm not here on the streets like that. Right. I so mean, so that's that's more like being positive no matter how your life situation pretty. comes. Never give up basically. You lost everything. You were 9 years old and you still went up in life. Like you you're like I'm not giving up, you know. So I mean, so that that that's amazing. You you seems very motivated. You seems very helping. Let me tell you this that you're looking at it's not a basic food and i am actually a youtuber you probably have seen or not seen my videos i do you know spreading kindness videos and that's what i'm doing here so what what i want you to do is open it and see what it says in there um and then and then tell me what you think about it <laughs> correct that's that's what you're going to go home with you're going to get 50k um also it's, it's been cold and i see you're just sitting here in a t-shirt would you like me to like give you a blanket? Would you would you be down for that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Come here. Walk to my car if you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get you a blanket. I have um I have like different colors, so I'm not sure which one you want. I have like a brownish, I have like a grayish, and then that one right there. You okay, you want the gray one? Okay, cool. All right, man. 